Hi everybody, it's Brian here. Welcome back to my channel. You know, lately I was doing some thinking about what I could do in order to try and improve my Redbubble shop even more and maybe try to find ways of increasing the possibility of communicating with potential customers. And I thought to myself, what is it that I could do moreover than what Redbubble is actually offering us to do in order to be able to obtain that communication pattern with my potential customers and indeed be able to use that communication and increase the possibility of gaining more social proof for the designs that I create on my Redbubble shop. And as many of you know, if you are doing anything pertaining to social media in terms of marketing your own particular designs, you know how important it is to actually obtain social proof so that people who visit your social media accounts can see other customers who have purchased your products and are actually showcasing and are actually happy that they made the purchase of your design on any of the products offered on Redbubble and to entice them further to jump onto your shop, browse through and hopefully make a purchase. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you a way that I came up with. Um, I haven't seen anybody else do it. In fact, I think I'm the first. I just initiated this new way of communicating with my potential customers about a week or two ago and I effectively thought, you know what, let me share it with my followers, let's see what they can come up with, maybe they can modify or improve upon it even more and hopefully gain more customers to the shop and obviously increase the opportunity of greater communication and obtaining social proof. So with that said, let's hop over to my computer and get started. Stay tuned. Now the fact that you're here means that you're interested in all things pertaining to print on demand and for that I want to sincerely thank you for taking the time out of your busy day, particularly at this time of the year as we approach the Christmas season, everybody's really busy, Christmas shopping, planning and whatnot. so the fact that you actually stopped to watch this episode really means a lot. I sincerely thank you for it. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a like and turn on the bell notification icon so that you can be informed each and every time that I upload a new video to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday and the goal of this channel is to help you take your print on demand business to a new height. I'm really hoping to reach the 2000 subscriber mark hopefully before the end of this year so if you can help me out by clicking on that subscribe button it would mean the world to me. So now with that said let's hop on over to my computer and start with today's episode. So welcome to my computer screen and as you can see here I have Canva up on the screen. I normally tend to create my own personal red bubble cover banners using Photoshop but given the fact that not everybody has access to Photoshop and it's totally understandable I wanted to use a tool in this episode that I know that everybody's going to be able to gain access to and obviously Canva is a fantastic platform to use. Um, this is not to say that I don't use it so today we're going to use this one in order to get the point across in terms of creating an effective, eye-catching, professional-looking banner that's going to allow us to gain greater communication with our potential customer. And you'll see how we're going to do that in a moment. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to hover over Create a Design. And in the custom size, if you don't see it, you can just click on the button down below or create a new design. You want to make sure that the custom size has a width of 2400 pixels by 600 pixels in height. And then when you obviously have those numbers keyed in, just going to create, click on create new design. And as you can see here, we now have our canvas. Now, Canva gives you a whole slew of different types of potential backgrounds that you could use or designs that you could use for your shop banner. And if you wanted to, you could technically just drag and drop any of these and actually modify it accordingly. But the type of Redbubble banner that I'm going to be proposing to you today is one where you are going to be showcasing a number of your designs on your shop banner and obviously keeping a certain segment on the banner to be able to communicate with your customer. And I'm going to show you what I mean in just a moment. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go on to elements and we're going to scroll down all the way till we get to grids and then we'll click on see all. Now what I want to do is I want to divide my canvas into seven equal portions. Okay, I'm going to use six of them in order to showcase some designs and one section is going to be my communication panel. 
So let's find the seven grid, seven vertical grid um, pattern, which is going to be further down at the bottom. So I'm just going to scroll down, and as you can see, it's right over here. So one, two, three, four, five. No, actually one more, because that's with six. Here it is. Here we got with seven. So we're going to click on that. And as you can see now, we've got our canvas divided in seven equal portions, but I don't want to have these gaps between it. So in order to get rid of them, we're just going to click on spacing, and we're going to take the spacing down from 10 all the way down to zero. Okay, so now that we have all of our sections nicely laid out onto the canvas, it's time to bring in our clip arts, our photos, our resources, those things that we are going to utilize to make an effective Redbubble shop banner. Now, I'm just going to bring up my folder here to show you the resources that I, I went ahead and downloaded. I used Placeit to create these fictitious mockups. So, I'm just going to bring it up here. And as you can see, I've got each of these models basically showcasing a different Christmassy clip art. And we're going to use all of these. As you can see, I also have a nice Christmassy background, given the fact that we are now approaching the holiday season. I thought it would be great to create a banner to obviously instill a greater sense, a greater awareness of the Christmas season. Now, I went ahead before starting this video and actually uploaded them onto Canva so that we would save some time. And as you can see, they're all over here. So now basically it's just a question of placing them on to the shop banner canvas in a way that's going to be, you know, flowing, it's going to look symmetrical, it's going to look really, really good. So um, let's start with this little guy over here. So we're just going to click and drag him on. And as you can see, super simple to actually put your mock-ups onto the canvas. And we'll go with this one here. And then we'll get this guy here. So as you can see here, we've got everybody basically leaning in towards the center. And we've got a black shirt, a white shirt, and a black shirt. So again, there's a little bit of a pattern. There's some continuity. We're going to leave this middle one here blank. And then we're going to fill in these three with the remaining three pictures. So we're going to grab this little toddler guy here. Let's stick him over here. And then we're going to grab this female here. Because of the fact that she has a white shirt, it's going to complement this one. And then the last photo will go over here. So again, we've got a color, a white, and a color, or a black and a red here. But again, all of the photos have that Christmassy feel to it. Now, this panel here is where we are going to communicate with our customers. And what we also want to do is we want to give them the opportunity to get in touch with us. As I stated earlier on, Social proof is extremely important in our line of business. And the more social proof that you can get of people wearing or using any of your designs on any of the products offered on Redbubble on your social media accounts, well, that's going to increase exponentially the trust factor of any potential customer who comes across your social media account to say, hey, wait a minute, you know, he's not just showing professional mock-ups of the designs. He's showing photos of customers who have actually purchased products with the designs and are actually utilizing them. So let me delve deeper into the, what this shop owner has to offer. Because, hey, if other people are buying from him, I might just want to do the same thing too as well. And that will open up a potential floodgate of people becoming aware of your account, aware of your shop, and hopefully take the time to visit even more frequently and, hey, hopefully even make more sales. So how are we going to go about doing this? Well, the first thing we want to do is we want to change this background here to white. And to do that, we're just going to click on elements and we'll select all. We're going to close the grids. And what we want to use is the line and shapes. Now, I've already used a square before, so we're going to just bring that up. And first thing we want to do is we want to change the color to white. So I'm just going to click on the color box here and white is select pre-selected here. And we're just going to open up the square and change it into a rectangle by dragging down the bottom handle. Okay. And maybe what we want to do is see if we can just open up the box a little bit more to make sure that there isn't any gaps. Now, 
how are we going to allow people to get in touch with us? So in fact, there are two ways that people can get in touch with you. The first is by clicking on your artist profile. And when they get down to that section, Redbubble provides you with the opportunity of actually allocating some clickable social media icons in your artist profile that customers could actually click on and obviously navigate to your social media account and get in touch with you that way. But not everybody knows about this, and let's be honest, not every customer is going to go through the hassle of scrolling all the way down to your artist profile. I mean, not everybody does that. They just see the first few designs, and if they like, they continue scrolling. If they don't, they bounce to another shop. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that we grab their attention that, hey, listen, you can communicate with me outside of Redbubble by doing the following. And this is exactly where we are going to portray that message. So what we want to do is we want to create a QR code. Now, for those of you who don't know, QR code is effectively a graphic that has a particular website or any kind of link that you would like to embed into it that when people use their smartphone and scan it, it will actually take that person to whichever link you would like them to visit. And this is where we want them to either get in touch with you either via email or else perhaps a direct link to one of your social media accounts, say Instagram or Pinterest or Facebook or what have you, so that they can either A, send you a message directly Maybe they want to create a particular design and want your help doing so. Maybe they want to collaborate with you. Or better yet, to give them the opportunity for them to send a photo of whatever product they purchased with your design on that you can then use on your social media accounts. Now, I'll explain a little bit more later. Let's actually go ahead and create a QR code. Now, to do so, I came across a website called the QR code generator, and I'll leave a link to this website in the description below. I'm not affiliated with this at all, and it's really simple to use. As you can see here, they're showing you already all of the different types of links that you could actually embed in your QR code for you to be able to use. And all you need to do is where it says here, enter your website, text or drag, drop a file here, this is the information you're going to give to the website for them to embed into your QR code. So let's assume for a moment that you want customers to get in touch with you via your Instagram account where they can either A, send you a direct message or B, send you a photo of them either wearing or using one of the products offered on Redbubble that they purchased with your design so that you could use that photo for social proof. So over here is where you would want to put in the following. So you're going to do www.instagram.com and then forward slash. And then here's where you would obviously type in the name of your Instagram account. So let's just make up one for a moment, say test IG account. Again, this isn't going to lead us anywhere forward slash, but we're going to just use that in order to generate um, a QR code. Now, when you're ready, all you're going to do is you're going to click on download. Okay, it's going to ask you to free sign up. You don't need to worry about that. But as you can see here, it says your QR code is being generated. Please do not refresh or exit. It takes a few seconds to do so. Not a problem. And as you can see at the bottom over here, we have the downloaded um, QR code, which I already went ahead and created. So we're going back to Canva. If I go on to uploads, sorry, we've got the QR code already uploaded over there. We just don't want to drop the QR code smack dab in the middle over there because effectively that's going to be meaningless to your customer. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab it and we're going to put it in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to resize it slightly. Now, be very careful. You don't want to put it smack dab at the bottom because as many of you know, on Redbubble, your shop icon is going to be positioned roughly over here. Now, if you put your QR code all the way down to the bottom, people aren't going to be able to scan it. And if they can't scan it, they're not going to be able to get to whatever link you want them to get to. So I would say that you would bring it up slightly, I would say, divide this column into thirds in your mind and then basically put your QR code between the second and the third um, section of this column. Now, at the top here, we want to put some text. So we're going to click on the text tool and I wouldn't go for the big and bold one. I would go for the add subheading. All right. And then just click and drag it once you grab it right to the top. 
And then you could put in whatever texture you want. I would recommend something along the lines of this. So we love connecting with our customers. All right, now obviously that's too big. So what we want to do is we want to decrease the size of it. And I would take it down to about 20. I would even go, yeah, 20 is fine. Let's just stretch it out a little bit. Okay, and again, this is something you would want to play around with and you do it any way that you would like. I mean, your mess it's your message, it's your shop. You portray whatever message you want to send out to your customers. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it to continue with the message. We're going to grab it and bring it down here. We'll double click in it, control A to select all. And then you can use something along the lines of use the QR code uh, to send us a photo of the design you purchased and be entered into a drop. Okay, now, again, this is totally optional. It's up to you. I have found that when you actually provide the proverbial carrot on a stick in front of a customer, they'll be more open to the idea of actually sending and following the instructions that you give them. Um, some people just like sending their photos of them wearing products out and have absolutely no problems. Others might be a little bit lazy and might need that little something extra to sort of entice them to want to actually send a photo or get in touch with you. So you could say, we're going to create a draw and I don't know, maybe once a quarter or once a month, you could say, you know, anybody who sends in I don't know, a photo of them wearing one of our products can go into a draw for winning one of our stickers or a sticker pack or whatever it is that you want to, uh, to create for them in order for them to be enticed into sending a photo. Again, that's up to you. Whatever text you put over here is totally up to you. But again, I found through experience that when you you know, provide some kind of prize, people are more open to participate, okay? And effectively, it's as simple as that. Then all you have to do is once you're happy with it, just click on the download button, wait a few moments for Canva to download it, okay? It's downloading, and when you've finished, you can open it, and I have it over here on the screen below. As you can see here, it looks really colorful. It's got that Christmassy feel to it, and then it's basically just a simple matter of going into your Redbubble dashboard, navigating to your settings area, and obviously uploading your Redbubble shop banner accordingly. And again, this is simple to do. You could actually do this maybe once a quarter. I don't know, once Christmas and New Year's passes, you might want to change it to give it sort of a Valentine's Day feel. And then after that, you've got St. Patrick's. And then there's Easter. So you could effectively create an eye-catching Redbubble shop banner every now and then and if you want to if this you find that this doesn't work you could just change whatever text that you want keeping the qr code there maybe to a different link perhaps maybe to an email or to a facebook page and just shake things up a little bit try different combinations of photos and text and whatnot and see what works if you get a really good reaction from a particular copy of text, then hey, just change the other graphics and keep that and keep your customers happy. And again, as you know, that social proof is so fundamentally important. When you get those photos of people using your products and you use those for your own social media accounts, well, like I said earlier on, the world is your oyster. People will develop a greater sense of confidence and trust in purchasing from you. The fact that they know that other people have actually purchased from you, they'll want to jump on the bandwagon, they'll browse through your shop even more and purchase something. And again, it's just another important piece of real estate that you can use in order to capture the attention of your customers, stay in touch with them, and hopefully land the sale. So as you can see everybody, it's really not that difficult to use Canva to create an eye-catching, professional-looking shop banner. And it's not only limited to Redbubble, you could effectively use this particular style of creating a shop banner on any print-on-demand platform that you use that gives you the opportunity to obviously modify and create a shop banner. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode. I hope it's sort of got the cogwheels rolling inside your mind in terms of ways of trying to further increase the communication between you and your potential customers through any and all aspects that are available to us through the Redbubble platform and indeed through any of the print-on-demand platforms that you use. But for today, hey, that's all I've got. And as always, be safe, be well, be creative. Bye for now.